Okay, so we are now on the mailings tab. We are only working with the create and start mail merge sections, so it should be pretty simple. For envelopes, the delivery address, uh, you can add electronic postage, you can put the return address, and then you can see what it would look like in the feed for your printer. For labels, you can see you put the address in, you can use a return address if you need, or if you'd like. Um, so you can choose to print the full page of the same label or just a single label. You can adjust these when it's on single label. Um, and over here, you choose like the size. Okay. We're going to start with select recipients. I don't have a list, so I would go type new list, but you can also get um, this for mail or email. But then you can also get one from Select Outlook Contacts. So type new list. I'm going to make up some. So the title would be email. Or maybe it would be our online, you know, our online updates. These are the people that get to know about things. First name, who's going to get it? Um. Let's Lydia. I don't know Lydia who. Last name Douglas. I don't know. Uh, company name. She's not with the company, so N A. And address line one. You would put the address in. Oops. No, I spelled it right. No, I didn't. Okay. Put the address in. You'd click OK or New Entry to get a new one, and you can save it in here in your list. If you have a list, and with that list you need to add someone on, take someone off, change an email address, you just go Edit Recipient List. You go in, you find the list that you need, and away you go. Pretty darn easy. So I hope this helped. There will not be a test on the mailing section because it is hard for me to um, kind of mark on how you did. So we'll be moving on. I hope this video helped. Bye!